Hey guys, Derek here with The Closet Doctor and the question was about uh, installation for cam fittings, Rayfix fittings that we use in closets and other stuff here in our shop. So let me show you so what we So we install all of our cam fittings here in the shop. Uh, right as they're coming off the end of the edge bander, we've got an up down cart that we use. We sort stuff out and our cam fittings get installed on this table here. We've got them laid out here. As far as what we use, uh, on all of our closet shelves, we use the, the, the double one with the outrigger. And then we utilize this, the flush mount single one. We build a lot of cabinets with these and we also use them in some other areas. And we do this one without a cam in it for as well. So uh, in all of our closet stuff, we've got the, the double one. We, we, in the past, we had used the single. The reason that we went to the double is we found that it saved a lot of time and that it is always straight. When you've got people installing this one, it could be off all over the place and then we've got time spent straightening them out. So we went to this with a double, it's always straight. One thing that we've got, I've got tooling on the, the bench, we just haven't put it in, is we still use the, the counter, we use the countersink 20 millimeter bit for that one here, the 10 millimeter hole is just straight in. I've got a, a 10 millimeter bit with a countersink on it that we're gonna install on it. We found that you don't see the countersink in it and it really eases uh, the installation. It lines up and taps in nice and easy. So we're hoping to get the same thing with the 10 that it'll go in, just the lineup will go in much easier. This here is a nailer that we use for support and so it'll have two dowels that'll go into a vertical that presses in and then we'll install that with a screw. We'll put a screw into the stud and that adds extra support. That's where we use the non-cammed one. The single one with the cam, we use it for putting on toe kicks and also for, uh, we do a lot of cabinet assembly with it. I'll show you that. And then we stock them in, what do we got? Five colors there. So we got white, brown, black, gray, and beige, I think is all of them. And so we run those here, like I said, install them, all of them here. In the and an additional one we use, this is a floor mount shelf. So this would go in a floor mounted closet system. It's got a toe kick on it and it drops down in place. We don't want any exposed fittings by running those upside down or any of the other things that they do. So this is another hayful of fitting that we've got. It's got a black housing and then I don't have the connector, but it has a connector that has a uh, fitting that sticks out and it slides down on works really good uh, so that, you, that you've got a nice finished look yeah, with it. In regards to damage and shipping is how we avoid that is we bundle it, uh, we put them together and then we strap them. We don't use shrink wrap. We've got one of these strap pack machines. You slide the shelves in here and step on the pedal and it straps it on there. We've got the tension set pretty good. And so you can see it here in our job. All of these are placed in here and that way things can't slide around and we, we don't get damage with it from moving around. So this is our home office cabinet. This is a big tall one here. So this is something we would assemble in the shop. It has a blind dado connection in there. So there's a mechanical connection in here and then we've got it, it assembles together with the cam fitting. We have that top, bottom, and then the toe kick and everything. That's how we use those.